team has an answer to the question of why they run. So that uh, here is 12. Of course, you know, it's very close to the top 10 since mm -hmm. that's my goal for this year. For many, it's a familial effort. My mom's um, homemade lasagna. So I started mushing when I was 15, um, and my dad was really a huge influence in really getting me started in the sport. He helped me build my first dog box, um, handled for me on my first copper basin, which is a pretty tough race to be a handler on. And was there for Jeff's first Iditarod in 2008. From start... You got a bag? <laughs> just random bottles. ...to finish. <laughs> so I definitely um, think about him quite a bit when I'm out here, and when I got to dig deep for, you know, extra strength and motivation out there, kind of channel his, um, his drive for his passion. Jeff's dad, Eric, was an artist and traveled to far-flung places like Nepal, but never the full Iditarod Trail. Well, this year I'm carrying my dad's ashes, so that's pretty special. I don't know how many more Iditarods I'll do. He needs to see the trail and this is the year. 2022, the year they finally travel the trail together. Just tell them that, you know, how cool it is to be out here and uh, I What do you miss most? I'd say probably just being able to talk to him. Mm -hmm. From checkpoint to checkpoint, taking care of his team including the father who always supported his dream. Up, leaving Rainy Pass, go up to the pass itself, and you're up at close to 4,000 feet. So I spread some of his ashes up there. Um, it's a pretty cool spot. It's you know, tucked right in the mountains. And so I left a little bit of them there, and then as we were going through the burn, I had a moment there where I wasn't white-knuckled, two-handed driving, um, could sprinkle a little bit, told him to look out for us. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, it's been good. Um, there can be moments where you're like, what are we doing and why are we doing it? Um, but hopefully, you know, you complete the race, you can look back on it and say, yeah, that was totally worth it. Top 10 finish or not, a chance to spend more time with dad. He's been with me every Iditarod that I've done and <clears throat> it's, um, it's sweet to be able to take his ashes and um, have him out here on the trail. Beth Verge. Alaska's news source.